Hello, this is a very quick look at the Pebble Time round. I've been a big fan of Pebble since the original one, so I was quite keen to take a look at this. It's got a nice strap and white face, but it comes in a range of colours with a range of straps, so you need to pick the, the one for you. Uh, beautifully thin, I have to say this is much better to wear than other smartwatches because you can wear this say with cufflinks and it's still the shirt goes over it no problem. You've got a single button on the left and the three buttons on the right so it's quite traditional if you've used a pebble. These back uh, wrist straps come off quite easily and you can put those back on very easily as well if you want to change them out for a different type. The back's very minimal, just says pebble and has the charging point, that's a magnetic charge for the cable which is included, just snaps on. You get about two days worth of battery life and it really doesn't take long to charge this up at all. It's really quick at charging. Something you might have noticed is the screen is actually quite tricky to see. It's very, very dark and you have to hold it at a certain angle in order to see it correctly. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause the review for a second because I've got a theory as to why the screen looks ever so dark with this white bezel. You may remember the dress incident a while ago, what colour is the dress, and it's a pretty simple thing to replicate. This is just paint.net, I'm just going to walk you through the steps so you can see I'm not using any tricks. So here I'm just selecting a dark grey, we'll just do that at the top, and then I'm going to select a lighter grey for the bottom. Now this is important that you see this, I'm just going to put in a red, green and blue colour, so you can see 107, 107, 107. And I'm now I'm going to draw two rectangles using the same colour. First on the dark, second on the light. Now, most people see this one as lighter than this one, even though they're exactly the same colour. It's a uh, really interesting little trick and it explains why some people see different colours. It depends on the context and what's around it. And I think that's what's happening with this particular Pebble watch. You've got a very white outside, which is making the screen itself look very, very dark. There are other issues with this. You can see the backlight hasn't triggered automatically. In fact, it, there was a bit of a delay. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes it kicks in straight away. It also can be quite tricky to flick your wrist to get this to activate. And actually, you have to be a little bit violent sometimes. I've found other pebbles to actually be a bit more sensitive in this respect. And so for that reason, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with this. Pebble have done a really good job of optimising the interface for this round style. So there aren't that many watch faces at the moment, but you can see the menu and the messages and things like that have all been adjusted. So here's the time flow. If you go backwards, you can see what was in your calendar yesterday. Go forwards, you can see what's in your calendar for tomorrow. It's a simple system, but it works really well. Going into the main menu, you'll see the icons themselves are fairly small, but, but they're easily readable as to what's going on. So I've got 20% battery there, and at 20% it will notify you that you need to uh, charge your phone. This can be used with Misfits, the Misfit app for activity tracking and sleep tracking. Note though that this isn't fully waterproof, it's just splash resistant. You've also got quick buttons, so you can assign, for example, the music app to the up button, and that means that when you are on the watch face screen, if you wanna access your music quickly, the music controls, simply hold up, and you can play, pause, and skip tracks. There are watch faces available. There's not as many as you might expect, but I guess that's because this was something of a surprise to the community. So I'm sure that will increase massively. And you'll see in a second the battery status. There we go, 20% battery it pops up and it does vibrate on your arm just to let you know you're about to run out of power fairly shortly. It does, doesn't take that long to charge up at all. So watch face wise, you know, they, they look pretty good, although this screen is, is making them look a little bit washed out. I don't know if it's the same screen as on the other pebbles that I've looked at, um, I'm, I'm finding uh, the colours to be more washed out. See, if you're looking at it, it seems a bit more black and white for some reason, don't know why. So notifications are really good. You can see they look fine on the screen. You can easily read, that's on subscribing. Thank you very much. When you get a notification, your wrist buzzes, you get to read the notification. And then if you want to, if it's something like a text message, you can reply on your pebble. If you're in a meeting, you can set it to quiet time, but if you want to just do a straight reply, you can either use voice, a template, or an emoji. If you use voice, it will attempt to understand what you're saying. Cheers for the heads up, I'll check it out later. And transcribe that into a message you can re reply with. Now if it does get it wrong, as it has done here, you can very easily try again. Thanks, I'll check it out later. Where it struggles to understand some words, it's best to just rephrase and then normally it will get it right. Simply hit the tick button and this will be sent from your phone and you've not had to take your phone out of your bag or your pocket at all. You just do this all on the watch. 
So there's a lot to like about this pebble. I really do like the design. I'm just not keen on this round white bezel because I think one, it makes the screen look darker and we're using a digital watch face, the 5, 10, 15, 20, just, they don't make sense. I'd actually rather have no bezel at all and have a much larger screen to play with. Watch face designers themselves could add the 5, 10, 15 if they then wanted to. Overall though, the design of this is a really nice watch and I really, really wanted to love it. It's just the screen lets it down for me. So if you are gonna go and buy one of these rounds, maybe get a black watch face instead of this white one. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.